Hey everyone, it's Eurosol, and the fires continue to burn in the Amazon. But we have some interesting side topics popping up in relation to this, which I'm only really covering because I'm in the business of the internet and I'm promoting websites. And I happen to have uploaded a video only a few days ago explaining how Google basically skews and biases the search results they produce in favor of establishment organizations like big companies and governments and so on making it very difficult for anybody else to be seen since really most people when they search on Google tend to click on links on the first page or maybe the uh, most the second page definitely don't go much further than that and obviously you know that's a very small number of links compared to the number of pages that exist on the internet so they're really actually at the mercy of Google's filtering systems when they search for keywords and phrases which ultimately means that the information that gets disseminated around the internet really is controlled by Google's algorithms. That in itself is a huge problem because Google carries something like 66-60% of the traffic, uh, certainly search traffic anyway, for the internet. So roughly two-thirds of everything that people find on the internet they found through Google, and therefore being able to be found near the top of the listings in Google is essential for anybody wanting to be heard via the internet. If you can't be heard by the internet because people are being sidelined and corporations and governments are being boosted by Google, then ultimately one of the great powers of the internet, which is the free distribution of information, has pretty much been lost because all we then have is mainstream media, TV, radio, which are heavily controlled narratives, well known. Uh, which are just repeating the same messages that you're going to find on the first page of Google anyway. So you've lost any kind of ability for independent thinking to be shared via media is a big deal. So I'm going to come back to that topic a little bit here, but I'm going to touch on the Amazon specifically as well. And there's this story here from the Mirror. Uh, Googling Amazon Fire brings up offers on tablets and people are furious. So I didn't see this myself directly, but basically they're saying that if you type in Amazon Fire into Google and run a search, then you see loads of adverts for, for tablets coming from the company Amazon because they make a type of computer tablet called Amazon Fire. If you do that now, maybe that Google's changed the way they're handling this since this story became public. But if you do it now, then you're going to see, at least when I do it, I see videos from YouTube and so on talking about the actual Amazon being on fire at the top of the page. But I can fully understand how some people, when they're searching, would actually just see adverts for Amazon products. This brings up an interesting thread whereby people have been saying on Twitter and so on that Amazon, the company, should be spending money to protect the Amazon. And, you know, that would be a nice idea, really, wouldn't it, considering how much money Amazon, the company, is making. Basically, they're siphoning off the wealth of the planet in a major way. And, you know, if we are faced with a difficult situation where we're having difficulty dealing with it, such an important thing as the actual Amazon forest being on fire, then, yeah, it would be nice for them to redirect some of their profits towards that. But I won't hold my breath, so to speak, for that. And to get into a little bit of the mechanics behind search engines, capitalism, and how it relates to the environment here. I recently explained some of why Google search results are so skewed. They ultimately weight the results in favour of what they call authority. So even if a page is less relevant to your search or not the highest quality page available, you may still see it at the top of your search results due to the website it sits on being deemed high authority. And this is really part of why people have been experiencing that when they're searching for information on the Amazon fires, they actually get links to buy the company Amazon's products. So as people's passionate intent to protect themselves and help the planet drives them to search for information on Google, they're instead pushed to buy more products. Since the capitalist drive for ever more profit is likely behind some of the fires in the Amazon, this understandably does not sit well with environmentally conscious interneters. Many web users have put out calls to Amazon, the company, to pay to help save the Amazon rainforest, but here's the thing. As long as humans can actually survive without the rainforest, its destruction financially benefits the Amazon company. Now, why is that? Well, A, the more cheap products come out of South America, the more competitive the market becomes and the more products are sold, which therefore means Amazon, the company, makes more profit. But B, the less important the Amazon rainforest becomes, the less traffic there is searching for the keyword on the internet and the less competition the Amazon company has in search engines to rank in search results for the word Amazon. 
So in other words, if the Amazon itself is destroyed and no one cares about it, then the Amazon company actually finds it easier to make more money, assuming they're still alive because they can breathe. Now, I'm not blaming Amazon for that situation. That's just how Google's designed its search algorithm. But that is a fact, as far as I'm aware. The more competition there is for a keyword, the more money you have to pay to, to rank for it. So if no one's talking about Amazon the place, then Amazon the company makes more money. Mind boggling. But there we go. That's the situation. And considering that a lot of the products that would come out of the Amazon as a result of it being turned into products would be sold on Amazon the website, you can see how Amazon the website can directly be tied into this destruction and really should be taking steps to win back some public image, let's say, by actually helping their namesake, the Amazon. And there are lots of tweets um, from people actually requiring that they do that and calling for Amazon to do that. A few uh, stories have been published on that already. I just want to point out also that people have said, due to a statement made by NASA, that the fires in the Amazon are just normal for this time of year or, or compared to recent years. Uh, I'm not really sure that's true at all. Uh, and it says on this piece here from the Express, according to Brazil's Space Research Centre, uh, wildfires in the Amazon's rainforest hit a record number this year. This figure shows a, a sharp increase of 83% against the same period in 2018, marking the highest since records began in 2013. So that's a complete contradiction, at least in terms of the way they're calculating these figures, to what NASA was apparently saying. So would Jeff Bezos spending millions or billions to help the rainforest help the situation? Possibly, to some extent, since it seems the Brazilian government aren't doing a great deal. Their position is continuing basically, to deny reality. This is sadly much the same as some of the commenters online who, as I said, have been pointing to NASA's statement that it's all normal, carry on. So, you know, as usual, there's there's biases and agendas at play even in this most sensitive and um, important topic for humanity. Um, while it's tempting to pressure companies like Amazon to take steps to save their namesake, it remains all of our responsibilities to do what we can to bring balance to the planet, including, as I pointed to in my previous video, reforesting our own regions and becoming sustainable producers of our own plant-based foods, for starters. That's going to have a huge effect. Make it, it makes our lives cheaper. We need less money. We need less transportation, less importation, and so on. And everybody, I'm pretty sure everything is just going to work a lot better if we have gardens made of food instead of gardens made of lawn. So I just thought it would be interesting here as well to show you some other searches which demonstrate what I'm talking about, about how companies basically dominate Google searches. So, uh, you know, I just found this kind of slightly amusing search here, virgin parent advice. You know, I mean, imagine you've got a child and you're concerned about them having sex too early. You might search for virgin parent advice. Who knows? And then understandably, as you might imagine, jump straight up to projects relating to virgin media and virgin basically products so uh you know that's got nothing at all to do with actually protecting children and then as we scroll down you've got a few links gradually coming in which do possibly relate to that but that's after all these products and in fact even this um even this one here parents helpline <laughs> has references to all these <laughs> all these uh mobile networks on it so then i also search for spirit of discovery yeah that'd be great let's have a, let's have a good uh you know, learn about the world and let's dive into probably encyclopedias, that kind of thing. But no, no, actually that brings up cruise ships and, uh, oh, okay. Pretty much everything about cruise ships. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know. Let's try, uh, spirit. I don't know. Uh, let's say spirit information. Surely we're going to get some religious stuff coming up. Well, we get Wikipedia. Um, okay, well, that's not necessarily hugely useful, but all right. But then we're back to airlines again and products <laughs> and government projects. Right. Okay. So basically, you know, that exactly proves what I've been saying, which is that, you know, think about, well, you may not be aware, but think about the literally millions and millions of people that have written about spiritual subjects with amazing insights, amazing information. And all kinds of things, some of them completely neutral, just that are applicable to everyone, could totally change your life, help you fix your psychology, your health, everything. 
And yet when you search for spirit information on here, you get Wikipedia because it's high domain authority and you get products. Right. <laughs> OK. And yeah, so basically, as long as we're allowing Google to be our primary search source, we are hugely missing out on information in the world. And it's no surprise, sadly to me, the number of people who have no idea of some of the really important subjects that are really prevalent on the internet, but which you have to know about their existence in order to find them. It shocks me constantly to find how many people have never even heard of many of the subjects that to me are like normal daily topics of conversation. I also covered how recently when you search for Jeffrey Epstein in relation to Bill Gates or Donald Trump and so on, uh, you see how it's also heavily censored and controlled. People claiming that Google's anti-Trump, that kind of thing. I don't agree with that at all. For example, Roy Cohn was a uh, CIA operative, most likely, basically blackmailer in the past, in history, in America. Um, well exposed to have been... I mean, people have quoted who knew him as basically saying he's one of the evilest people they'd ever met, if not the evilest. Uh, he was apparently a mentor to Donald Trump, and there's loads of pictures of them together. You search for Trump, and then Roy Cohn. As soon as you type Roy in, no more search suggestions. Hmm, interesting. If you search for Trump, and then Mafia. Oh, no, nothing comes up. And yeah, if you do that in other search networks, like uh, Bing or DuckDuckGo and so on, you'll get loads of search suggestions for Roy Cohn and Trump and Trump Mafia because there's loads of pages talking about them. So it's not just the case that Clinton is being protected when you type in flight log, which should bring up loads of things to do with Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton's involvement with that and possible child abuse. It's not that they're protecting Clinton. It's the same for Donald Trump, who was also on the flights. Same thing. In Bing and so on, you'll get many, many more uh, suggestions and search results coming up because they're not censored in the same way. So again, it's just more more evidence to stop using Google search and to regain our power and get some sense of neutrality and transparency and honesty when we're using the internet. And again, I would suggest using DuckDuckGo as a search source for now. Uh, if you know of any better ones that are perhaps more useful than DuckDuckGo, then definitely let me know in the comments. So yeah, it's a little bit of a weaving journey through the world of the internet and searching and environmental causes and censorship and as usual these topics all touch into each other because everything is interconnected if you enjoy listening to this kind of material then do come and check me out on eureka.org ureka.org which is my own social network that i've made over a number of years i'm a social network creator i actually am a software engineer and really it's focused on healing balancing and evolving so there's a great deal of material on there around these kinds of subjects and lots of solutions and insights into how we can improve our lives and the world to Make a difference so that we leave the world in a better place than it was when we arrived. Definitely come and check that out if you like. It's free and there's no spying and we don't sell any data. There's not even any commerce on there at all, no adverts. So it could be a great home for you online. So yeah, definitely please do come and say hello. If you like this content, then please do as usual, like, subscribe, re-steam, re-blog, share along. Hit the notification bell in YouTube to receive all of my notifications if you're on YouTube. And till next time, peace.